26th annual McDonald's Boys High School All-American game. And this one, of course, figures to be very special. LeBron James against the rest of the All-Americans here tonight. Yeah, I know Everybody Gary Daniel Williams Williams likes to see his players start off on the defensive end. Chris Paul to LeBron James. That didn't take very long. Field goal percentage early for the LeBron James-led team. 66%. Two dunks, three attempts. <laughs> but that's one thing these kids are going to learn with help side defense is EB did not need to be guarding him that closely when the ball's on the opposite side of the floor. He is one of those that Tim talked about that could make the jump from high school straight to the NBA. That is still in the forefront of his mind. Yeah, one of his good buddies. Clippers, same neighborhood. James to Villanueva, and if you have not seen LeBron James, he's almost as spectacular a passer, Jay, as he is a dunker. Tom Izzo back to really pressure defense and scoring off of their defense, generating offense. Look at that pass, the no look to Villanueva, high above the crowd, the transition defense, we won't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> and the EB guarding him. We'll try to give you as much info as we can all night, too about where some of these guys are heading. There's Villanueva again from James, who picks up another assist, and he sees a little bit of a, a part of the crowd up in the second deck, maybe folks from Akron, all wearing, looks like St. Vincent, St. Mary t-shirts, and he points up to them on his way back down the floor, and now he's got a steal. Unselfishly gives it up, and Michael Jones will finish with a jam. That's three assists now for James, and I thought before the game he would get 10. He might get 10 by halftime. In total tonight is Vaughn Wafer, Comes into the game and misses a long jumper. And here's James. Likes to handle. And that's going to be a goal 10. Count the goal basket James. Yeah, really impressed with the fundamentals. You notice that he's like a running back popping through the hole. He stays really low when he dribbles. And that's one of the reasons he is so good in transition. A political thing. <laughs> but, Tim, you played in this game. Now, let's let uh, LeBron yeah, let's do his stuff. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good for him. Charlie, it was a beautiful play, but we still can't team. help but be a little bit disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> well, how has it changed since then? You know, Dan, in, in 1980, there were no boys or no girls in the game. It was boys only, and it was definitely no national TV. Welcome back to the Gund East by 12, and I'm here with LeBron James in a dynamic start. You look like you're having a lot of fun out there, but I thought you'd try to dunk everything. You're trying to get your teammates involved. Take me through your mindset. Well, you know, you know, when your teammates get into it, we have a lot more fun out there because uh, they feel like if, if the best player on the floor can get us the ball, you know, we all can have some fun and try to not be selfish. We're just trying to play a team game, and, you know, thankfully we're up by 12 right now. Ron McDonald, Caramobile, and all of our programs around the world that go to help children. Ken, before we get back to the action real quick, how many Ronald McDonald houses are there? Maybe you're just not good enough, and, and I think it's a, it's a sad state of affairs, but the way it is. James Gamble did a miss, otherwise he was home free for a dunk. Shannon Brown with a layup at the other end, and James gets his dunk anyway. Two years ago that he was at a UCLA game, and there was a 360 dunk, and I said, Coach, what would you do if one of your players in your day tried the 360 dunk? And he said, the slam fest on Monday here in Cleveland. And LeBron James, of course, guys, the prohibitive favorite. If prohibitive means you put your head by the rim, <laughs> that's him. <laughs> he defeated Vaughn Wafer. Wafer finished second. Shannon Brown of Michigan State, by all accounts, had the single most spectacular dunk. That was in the first round, but in the final round, he missed a dunk this game. So, oh. the wall dang and Olu Famatini are the three injured players, unfortunately, unable to play. Now that is an outlet pass. <laughs> and at this point in his career, I can't call LeBron a very fundamental player. That's where you get your two feet underneath you and go straight up. But you can't argue with the ability to deliver the ball. This is all natural skills. You can't learn to throw the alley-oop. He drives very well, and it's just it's such a special thing. I think he's going to be an outstanding NBA player. And I, I know this might be a dangerous thing to say around here. It may be better for him not to play for the Cavaliers. Go somewhere far away, away from a lot of the, the hometown pressure and develop his game. Andy Eby has bothered him tonight. That length has been an issue for James, and I don't think he's going to get bothered here. <laughs> 
Two wow. more for LeBron James. 21 healthy players have gotten some extensive time here tonight. It can't be an easy job for these coaches. They want to try to make everybody happy, but they also want to win the game. This is their chance. At what a delivery. Mid-air creation by James. Well, James and Eby have had a nice valley here with the steal coming from behind. He's working hard, but James a little bit too strong, and it's his time right now. What was that? James. <laughs> Now they're booing a little bit. They wanted something more from King James. And it's hard to believe that Wall Dang Charlie Bullen away to play on the same prep school team. That's a, they were able to push each other every day in practice, and I, I know both those players benefit from that. James left hand to lay it in. A lot of the same problems that Michael Jordan has had, and that isolation can really be a difficult thing to go through. How about the fact that he'll be a target, Tim, next year? Everybody's going to try. Mike Jones, he's had a terrific game. What an athlete. And this is the major introduction to America of, of what the future of college basketball is. Jones is the guy that's really impressed me. Oh, oh, that impress you, though? <laughs> I knew about that before, though. 21 for James, and it was James, by the way, who knocked the ball away. Now James with a block. He's going to take over this Let game. Let him go. Let him go. Wow. Listen to the crowd now. <laughs> Buy a ticket next week is what he's thinking. 23 for James. He has stepped up his intensity a notch or three in the last couple of minutes. Comes. He's going to get it back. Well, that's the beauty of playing with a, a player like Chris Paul. You can give it up knowing that you're going to get it back. Anybody want to finalize their MVP vote now? We've heard the comparisons to Tracy McGrady and Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan in high school, but the big difference is that LeBron James already is man size. I don't think he can get any bigger and any stronger. Do you think that maybe impedes some of his development? He's he's man size playing against kids right now. Yeah, that may be. I, I do think, though, the, the real question is what kind of drive does he have? Will he continue to push to be the best player when he gets to the next level? And I think when you have so much hype, and so many accolades coming your way. Sometimes it's easy to get satisfied. I don't sense that that will happen with LeBron James. I think he does really want to be great, but really the great ones stand the test of time. It's not about potential or, or what you do your first few years. It's what you do over the course of a long career. And, you know, whether he's got that kind of drive remains to be seen. Well, don't you look at Michael Jordan, how he evolved. He first learned beautiful to learn. Michael Jordan. Through the tunnel. That takes between the legs to a new level. <laughs> wow. And John Wooden always said, never take it between the legs. <laughs> Time out on the floor. LeBron James's moment right here, just up the road from Akron. The fans loving the show that he has put on here in the last couple of minutes. Big time style points for LeBron James here tonight. So close to Akron where LeBron James played his high school ball and wanted to capitalize on his celebrity. They have done that with a record crowd here tonight. Look at this. He doesn't even have to look to lay it right up next to the rim at Travis Outlaw. I'll tell you, I'm not sure Roy Williams is going to like getting some shooting that far out, but it's awfully nice when you can do it. James follows his own miss, and he's got 27. Do you think the referees even thought about calling traveling on that play? <laughs> no way. Well, LeBron James, in spite of the fact he's so close to breaking the scoring record, has not lost his unselfishness at any point in this game. It's just spectacular, not only to be able to do it, but to do it with the left hand and throw it up there with touch exactly where it needs to be. No rotation on that ball. Easy to catch and easy to finish when you can sky. Timeout with 25.5 seconds to play, and this is just to get LeBron James out of the game and get him the ovation that he so richly deserves here tonight. And James is, no surprise, the John Wooden Award winner and the MVP of tonight's game. 27 points, six rebounds, seven assists, leading the East to victory in front of a very pro LeBron crowd of being so close to Akron. Michael Among Jones. others, Michael Jones had a terrific game as well, and here's Coach Wooden with the presentation of the trophy to LeBron James. I 
Hope he's going to build himself a big trophy room in the new house, wherever that is, because he's going to need it. Well, and what a what a nice moment to be able to spend some time and receive an award from John Wooden. I hope he realizes just how special a moment that is. Tim McCormick standing by with the MVP, LeBron James. LeBron, you absolutely exceeded all of the out-of-this-world expectations. 27 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, huge numbers. What does it mean to, to cap a dream-filled event like this as the MVP? You know, first of all, I'd like to give a shout-out to my father, you know, um, and secondly, you know, for God. You know, without God, this God-given talent would not have been possible tonight. And, you know, it's just been a wonderful couple of days for us. You know, visiting around McDonald houses and visiting a whole hospital. It's just a it's a great it's a great way to finish it. LeBron watching you come out, I, I would have expected you to come out and, and have a plan to be MVP, but you really shared the ball and showed unselfishness. You know, I shared the ball early, which got my teammates comfortable in the game and got them into the flow early. And then, you know, the West team started to come back and you know my teammates told me to take over a little bit more strong ball wise. And you know, I did that in the second half and we came away with a victory. LeBron, number one pick in the draft without question. Um, you won a state championship. You've capped this up. When can we expect uh, an announcement about when you will announce your intentions for next year? Well, you know, right now I'm just going to uh, spend this last night with the fellow teammates and females from the McDonald game, and there's really no telling when I'm going to make my decision. Can you t give me one lasting impression of your experience with the McDonald's All-American game? You know, it was a great experience. It's a never to forget, and... We did so many things, it's hard to say how many, uh, how many we did. But, um, you know, been a never forget experience for us as male and females at a McDonald's game. LeBron, you blew us all away tonight. You were great, and I wish you a lot of luck. And let's send it back to Dan. All right, all right Jim, thank you very much.